upon a lofty throne, I saw a man seated whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. As we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament. Looking in our daily lives, we find times we've been blessed by God and offer him thanksgiving. Other times we have been sinners, and so we seek God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Be seated, listen to the word of God. Dr. Chittle, if you do, you have it. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice, Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the days of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation and said, they have always been of an erring heart and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today so that none of you may grow hardened by deceit of sin. We have been partners, <clears throat> you have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your heart, as at Meribah, as in the days of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my work. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, this people's heart goes astray. They do not know my way. Therefore, I swore in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear my heart and not your heart. Alleluia, alleluia. John preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Jesus preached it. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The leper came to Jesus, and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I will do it. Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, Jesus dismissed him at once. Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the word, the report abroad, 
and said that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside, and Jesus remained outside in deserted places. But people kept coming to him from everywhere. The gospel of the Lord. Praise ordinary time has been kind of extraordinary so far. Um, uh, in a matter of three weeks, we went from uh, a helpless little infant lying in, in straw in a manger uh, to royalty coming from places far and wide, bringing gifts to them, uh, to a 30-year-old uh, going down to the River Jordan um, and being submerged and baptized by his cousin. And now we see him casting out demons, um, healing people. And today uh, we see a, an incredible display of, of faith. Um, uh, the man with leprosy, um, uh, this is as is bad a situation as one could be in in those days. Um, uh, leprosy, uh, today, the, the true disease is known as Hansen's disease. It's curable. There's medicine for it today, but in those days, there wasn't. Um, they didn't know much about medicine in those days. Um, uh, you know, high medicine was putting leeches on someone and having them suck blood out of them. The idea is that it would take the, the bad blood away, but um, uh, there were a few things that would actually cure. Uh, there are some things, but, but leprosy was not one of them. Um, one of the things they did understand, uh, one of the only things they would understand related to modern Medicine is the idea of, of contagion. Uh, a, man, a leper was someone who was contagious. And for that reason, um, he, had, he or she had to withdraw from society, withdraw from family, withdraw from everything. Uh, uh, people couldn't risk coming in contact with them. They had to, to leave their home, leave their town, go out into the wilderness. They relied upon the the, the generosity of family or, or just some generous people, they would bring baskets of food and leave it at the entrance to the, uh, the, the colony or whatever you'd like to call it, where the lepers um, were, were huddled together. Um, but they couldn't, they couldn't converse with anyone. They couldn't come, come near anyone. If, if someone, they were walking down a road and someone came, they had to to raise their hands and yell, unclean, unclean, scaring the people away. They couldn't risk touching someone because the, the disease could be transferred. Uh, and they saw that as, as not an infectious disease, but some kind of, uh, some kind of contagious filth, uncleanliness. Um, uh, uh, someone who was a leper um, didn't know human love, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't feel human touch. It was as pitiable as uh, uh, a situation you could have. And, and here we have uh, a man, uh, presuming it's a man, um, filled with both courage and faith. Courage in that he didn't yell unclean, unclean and scare people away. Rather, he walked right up to Jesus, threw himself on the ground in front of him and uttered those amazing words of faith. If you wish. Three words. In that... Uh, the Nicene, the, the Apostles' Creed, they're contained in that. If you wish, he says, you can make me clean. Uh, what's he saying? If you wish, he's saying, you are the one. You are the one who has the power of creation. Um, we've, we've harkened back to that a lot in these last, uh, last couple of weeks. But when we look in Genesis, it all started with three words. Let there be light. Four words. Okay. Uh, uh, be like, if you wish, the same, the same thing. Recreate me, make me new. And so he moved with pity. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched them. Incredible courage on Jesus' part. Um, uh, a prohibited action. But he said to him, I will do it. Now there's three words. Be made clean. And because immediately he was 
free from his leprosy. All the, the, the sores, the disease running through his body was gone. Replaced with flesh like a baby, clean, fresh, um, new, new skin, new, new flesh and blood. Um, Jesus, knowing this could be problematic for him, uh, it's like when you go to a magic show, the guy usually starts with, he'll do a small trick. There is, you know, do something, do more, do more, you know. You know, make, uh, saw a lady in half, uh, make your assistant disappear, make the elephant disappear, make the Statue of Liberty disappear. We see the, the magic show. There's always more and more and more and more. And when Jesus cures someone, we saw it uh, the other day, cured Peter's mother-in-law and everybody in town who had an ailment. Came. Some people might have cut themselves just to say, heal me. Um, the, and, and here, healing a leper, um, it was like raising someone from the dead. And uh, he knew that this would cause trouble. So he said, don't tell anybody. Just go follow the law. Follow the law. Follow Moses' law. Do what Moses prescribed. Present yourself to the priest. You know, offer the dove or denarius or whatever it is. Um, and let, let yourself be declared clean. Let yourself be brought back into society. Let it, let it be that you can be embraced. That you can. Someone can kiss your cheek, that they can shake your hand. Um, but the guy's joy was such that he couldn't do that. He had to tell everybody because this was such a wonderful thing. Uh, he was the walking dead, and now he was given new life. Um, so Jesus you know, took off for quiet places again to spend time with his father. Um, what's the lesson for us? What, it's at the end of our first reading from the, the Hebrews. Um, he, he tells us at the very end of that reading, we become partners of Christ. Um, he's asking us to do what he did, uh, to embrace those who are unembraceable. Um, uh, we can think of all kinds of examples, uh, you know, hated enemies and all these things, but in the simple things, an example I used it to the third to fifth graders this morning. I said, you know, if two people have to choose a team. Um, you know, you don't want to choose the, the short, uh, slow kid. You want the tall, fast one. Oh, well, choose the short, the slow, the slow, short one. Um, uh, you know, uh, those who are outcast, the kid who's everybody says, well, he's just weird. There's something about him that, that may be weird, but, uh, but there's something immortal living inside of him. There's God's grace in him because he is made in God's image and likeness. And he is, is every bit as sacred and holy to God as you are. That's reason enough to, to give them a chance. Uh, uh, you know, as we become partners of Christ, uh, we, he's asking us to love everybody. Um, it's as simple as that. Point out to too that our readings they also tell us maybe the one thing Jesus wouldn't be good at. If he was asked to be picked, if he was picked as a, ca a captain uh, of your dodgeball team, then you had to, of the dodgeball team, you had to pick people because he couldn't pick anybody last. He, he, he couldn't not pick somebody, he had to have everybody at once. And you know, it, the shortcoming is that he couldn't not like somebody. He couldn't not love someone. Um, and that's what, what he holds out for us. Uh, that's what he means when he calls up, when we're called partners with him, is that everybody is our friend. Uh, everybody is someone we, we love. Everybody is a child of God. Gather our prayers and bring them before our God. We begin with a prayer for peace. This is the Prince of Peace, enlightening people around the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the church in gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments, God's miracles. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our nation. We ask that God watch over it. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our ministry of Catholic education, uh, our opportunity to, to bring Jesus to the world. We pray to the Lord. 
pray for the sick in our community. We think very specially of kind of reason, Mrs. Ritchie and all of those in need of God's healing graces. We pray to the Lord. Pray for the pose the soul of Father Chuck Collins, um, for uh, the pose the soul of uh, Norbert Bluzinski, um, uh, Coach Mike's uh, grandfather, uh, uh, grandfather-in-law, I guess, of Jessica, as, as they gather uh, to lay him to rest this week. Um, and for all the, the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Pray for vocations. Uh, to the consecrated life, to the priesthood, to teaching, uh, the, the holy marriage. We pray to the Lord for your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Loving God, we thank you for the gifts that you've given us. We ask that you look at the things that we've asked for and grant what we truly need. We offer all of this to you, your Son, Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let's say, Lord God of all creation, for fear did this we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Right. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for fear did this we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine, the work of human hands, that we become our spiritual bread. Right. Prayer, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to enjoy our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, might and eternal God, although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through your Son, Jesus our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you. With great joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending on your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all the be of it. For this is my body. It's to be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant is to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. 
For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jeffrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also Benedict and Norbert, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your faith. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Benedict, St. Norbert, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, to raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. So by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So the Lord be with you always. Amen. Talk to each other, greeting with that peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Amen. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Let us both call the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacrament and also serve with lives pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, and the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen.